Good. Do you have a nice roll in? Okay. Nice. Hello. How are you? It's, um, it's good to see you. We've just finished the first half of judging for the Festival of Media North America Awards. Um, how has the first half of the experience been so far? It's been absolutely brilliant. I think being back in a room with real life people that you can see and touch, not touch, maybe see, uh, has been um, really brilliant. I think being able to debate some ideas um, around the table, I think again, here are the people's perspectives. And I think again, end the year with kind of an overview of some of the best work in the industry across the Americas, I think has been a really powerful way to kind of spend some time uh, and end, yeah, a really brilliant year. And has there been any kind of standout campaigns for you or any concepts or ideas you've seen that have got, oh, actually, that's really clever. Yeah, I think um, it's been really interesting to see kind of the trend of media advertising creative being used to kind of influence offline behavior or even kind of consumer behavior, maybe not even related to purchase or awareness, but in terms of kind of real day-to-day -day engagement. I think when you look at the campaigns that Dove have done, uh, that BPO have done, where they're using the power of media to kind of influence, I think, generational shifts um, in behavior and action, either be it with social feeds and algorithms or hyper-local kind of community engagement. I think it's been a really powerful testament to the, the power of creativity in media this year. And have there been any surprises for you in terms of We've seen a piece of work and like, wow, actually that was that was brilliant. And I hadn't expected that. Or was there any key trend in there that I was there seeing come out? Uh, I think deep fakes, super interesting. Uh, I've seen it being used in a few times, in a few, oh, one more time, I'll do that one more time. Uh, I think Deepfake is a really interesting uh, piece of technology that we're going to see uh, kind of come to the surface a lot. I've seen it in a few campaigns, not just here today, but kind of across the year or so, and I don't think anyone's fully kind of correct how to use that in a way um, that doesn't, doesn't breed fear in consumers. I think it's a really interesting one where we're seeing teams always use Deepfakes for good, but I think it's this very thin line that I'm really interested to see where it develop um, as an industry. Yeah. And finally, what do you, would you recommend the judging experience to your fellow peers and investors? I would definitely recommend uh, taking on the mantle as a festival media judge. If you can, you get to meet some incredible people, see some amazing work, debate with teams that you're never going to interact with in your day-to-day -day, uh, level since they may be competitors or peers. Um, and I think it's really nice to have a really open dialogue. And again, I think at the end of a very busy, stressful year, spend half a day or a day um, just looking at work, enjoying the work with no other um, stress other than just sharing your opinion. So yeah, definitely be a part of it if you can. Fabulous. Thank you very much. Mate. You are welcome. <laughs> there we go. Thanks. Great. Uh, and then you're, you're coming to